Hi folks, this is Darren with My RV Works. We're in Port Angeles today and we're working on this RV where we're replacing all the vents and caps on the roof. And um, uh, there's a, a, a another video that we're already working on, but I wanted to make this video a standalone video because it addresses something going on specifically with this refrigerator. Um, so this refrigerator is not in a slide room. What I'd like you to do is go to our playlist on YouTube, My RV Works, and find our playlist for refrigerators. I've got a lot of refrigerator videos. Uh, we've been, I've been reading a lot of the comments from folks that uh, some of the things they're learning from my videos is really helping them. So I want you to have that experience as well. I found something on this refrigerator that is a major, 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 major no-no. And um, so when I saw that, I decided let's make a separate video just to show you what's going on with this and then I'll show you how we're gonna fix it okay now let me tell you what it is this refrigerator let me get comfortable this refrigerator is not in a slide room okay and if you've watched my other videos it's very important that the heat from the back of that cooling unit is a chimney and it must be respected if you do not have a good chimney effect of the air coming in on the bottom vent and venting out the top there's any turbulence or anything like that, you're not gonna have a very efficient, effective air, uh, refrigerator. That's an air conditioner, okay, thank you. Um, now what we have on here is we have this big dead airspace on top of the refrigerator. Big, 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 no, 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 no. You should never have that. Um, this one has that. So I'm gonna take the camera, I'm gonna stick it in this hole, I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at, and then we'll show you how we're gonna fix it, okay? Okay, so, we were up here replacing vents and things, and I looked inside this hole. Now, what we have, watch my finger, right there, that we want less than a one inch space from the back wall to the cooling unit, okay? And I'm okay with that. It's more closer to two inches, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is this big void on top of this refrigerator. Okay, so right there, there should be a baffle that's attached to these to the top of the refrigerator or wedged inside, and it should come up to this area right here. So in other words, I want a baffle right there. All this dead air space on top of the refrigerator is killing the productivity or the, of, or the, the refrigerator's ability to cool because it's getting turbulent, okay? So what we want is a nice, perfect chimney from the bottom vent down below through this less than a one inch space no more than a one inch space between the back wall and the cooling unit zero on both sides okay so less than a one inch space here zero on both sides and a perfect chimney here this dead air space your homework assignment go look at yours if you've got this big dead air space on top of your refrigerator your refrigerator is not working as optimally as it can you might say well darren my refrigerator is working just fine great it could work better okay um we've also got a space along this wall right here but there is some insulation I see so I'm not as worried about that as I am about this big space so let's get that fixed okay okay so um, to fix that breach I've taken some measurements and let's see it's gonna go something like that but then we I ripped it so I could slide it in piece by piece so there's also a couple places we're gonna have to put some insulation and then we're gonna tape up all our holes with this so I'll slide it in and then I'll bring the camera over and show you what we're gonna do. So this piece is gonna go in like that. This piece is gonna go in like that. And you wanna come see what, I, what that looks like. So there you go. Let me get you in there. Okay, so these are the, these are the boards I put in there. Okay, so let me take this board out. So you see that big hole we're closing out? And so where I'm at, is on that lip, I'm gonna put a screw through that to, to secure this bottom board. And uh, let's put him back right there, okay? And then up here on the top, I'm gonna put a screw through here to secure that board. Okay, now what that leaves, let me show you over here. Okay, see that big void? Where's my finger? We're gonna fill that area right in right there with that roll of insulation we've got, and the same as on the other side. Now once all these are in place, so it's a very easy fix, so no excuses, okay? So it's a very easy fix. Now, once our insulation is there, because if I don't put insulation in that corner, then the heat is gonna go back behind here. So we need to block that off, denying the heat to go there. We want the heat to come through our chimney. 
Once we do that, then I'm gonna hit it with some of this HVAC foil tape, all those seams, to make it nice and slippery, nice and sexy, so that the, the, the air comes through the bottom vent and vents out the top, okay? So we're gonna get all that done next, and we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so we've got our pieces in. I'll show you inside. So there would be, let me get down here. So here's my pieces. Here's that foil tape over down in there. Um, you can see the insulation that we stuffed in there denying the air. Where's my finger? There it is. I want to deny the air from going back behind here, don't I? So that insulation did that job. And then we go up the wall here, we see the foil tape denying any of that heat from going up inside that void. And then same as behind us. Down there, you can see the screw that we screwed into the top of the air, condition, oh, air conditioner. Refrigerator, um, just laugh. Uh, I'm dyslexic. Air conditioners are refrigerators. So if you've seen my refrigerator, oh geez, if you see my air conditioner video, I call those air refrigerators. So um, anyway, screw there. Way up here, we got a screw somewhere. Uh, well, it's behind the tape, but here's one here. So that was it. Now that was a very easy fix. Um, we have come across this several times on um, RVs. Manufacturers are not doing them correctly. So um, I'll say to the manufacturers, read the installation instructions on installing refrigerators, please. And then um, I don't have to worry about doing this out here in the field. So your homework assignment is if you have a refrigerator that's not in a slide room and it comes out here, inspect. Um, you can kind of look. Now what we had to do, we're, we're here to put a new vent and a new cover on. That, that's what we're doing. And uh, this is part of another video where we did the skyline and the roof vent and all that. And we came across this. This is its own standalone video. But um, inspect your refrigerator. There's really no way to know if that's happening to your refrigerator because you got to take all this off to get to it. And this is a pain in the butt to get off. Um, if you have a refrigerator that's not in a slide room and it's not working perfectly, you might behoove yourself to go through this trouble to look in there or get some mirrors or whatever because they have a screen right here and you can't you can't get through it. So um, you behoove yourself to figure that out. Um, this is this RV is a 2002, I believe. It's been like this for a long time. The refrigerator is working fine, but guess what? It's going to work even better than it's ever worked ever because for the first time. It's installed correctly according to Norcold spec, okay? So, there's your homework assignment. Go check yours. I want you guys to be happy campers. So, if this was valuable, if you like these videos, give me a thumb up. That's how you can thank me. Um, subscribe to our channel. Go to YouTube, My RV Works, and you can follow us along if you like these kind of videos. If you have an RV and you're troubling along, uh, I'm always taking people along on these kind of repairs. You can learn all kinds of tips and tricks. And uh, so from uh, Port or where am I at? Port Angeles, Washington. This is Darren with Myerby Works. We're happy campers say Myerby Works. See you on the next video.